One year later, the search for 27-year-old Michael Bryson continues, and we thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Templeman. Renee McCullough is on assignment tonight. Michael Bryson is the man who vanished in the woods of the Umpqua National Forest and shook the entire community. KZI 9 News reporter Jay Wan Jung shares the emotional story of Michael's parents as they carry on with hope. And as the days grew and the weeks grew, we knew he was gone. For Tina and Parrish Bryson, not one day goes by when they're not thinking about their missing son, Michael. I made a promise um, to Michael and his mom and his sister that I would bring him home. Michael's even made an impact on friends and coworkers. Michael was well loved by everybody. Yeah, he still is. He's, he's still a big part of a lot of our lives. On Facebook, over 20,000 people joined a group dedicated to finding Michael. But his parents say it's also become a platform to talk about mental health, something Michael struggled with. Looking back now, um, we believe that he was um, bipolar. I've been able to reach someone before they committed suicide because of Michael's story. This symbol is Michael's last tattoo, and his parents say it also represents his battle with mental health. Now it's about to become the symbol for the Michael Bryson Foundation. And that's not the only mark Michael leaves. Five days after he went missing, his parents got a special delivery to their door. And it was a t-shirt, a Nike t-shirt, and it said there is no finish line. And I looked up to Michael and I said, this is your last words. This is, this is, why else would that t-shirt be in the mail? It's a message from above. It's a message from Michael. Exactly. For Tina and Parrish, Michael is not just a missing person. Michael is a victim. You know, we, we believe very strongly there was foul play. I reached out to Lane County Sheriff's Office to get a current update on the case. Surgeon Tom Speldrich tells me they have three binders completely filled with leads on the case. We wish that, you know, we would have had results, well, a long time ago on this, but we haven't, but we have not given up. And neither have Michael's parents. We aren't going away. They tell me Michael's spirit is always with them. He's with us. We can feel him. Reporting in Harrisburg, Jaywon Jung, KEZI 9 News.